Uh, if you guys are watching this video, hopefully that means that you guys have watched my first video where I talked about if you're even ready for dating yet. But uh, if you haven't, of course, I'm going to leave the uh, link over here. It should be in the little info card here if I actually remember to do that. Um, so here's the thing, okay? So you're now here, hopefully because you figured out that, hey, I am actually ready to date. Well, <sighs> you've came to the right place. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about how you guys can actually get uh, yourself into the dating process and then what you should do while you're dating and some practical tips along the way. First thing is you need to tell the person that you are possibly interested in knowing them a little bit better. So in the way I look at it, that means that the guy should be able to ask the girl out on the date. Now, why do I say that? People are like, well, um, can I as a girl ask the guy out on the date? Here's the thing. People have asked me that multiple times, and yes, you can, but I'm telling you, if he can't take initiative to ask you out on a date, he'll probably won't be able to take initiative to do other things that he needs to do as the man. Uh, well, uh, boy, there's no real easy way to say this, but uh, look, you're a simp. I'm gonna have to report you back to Cusco. Because as a man, there is a type of leadership that he's supposed to have. Not a dictatorship, not where he's supposed to be over you and you're just supposed to listen to him, nothing like that, but he's supposed to take leadership. And if he can't take leadership in something very small like that, if he can't take initiative and have courage enough to do that, then he probably won't be able to be the type of person who'll take initiative in other things. Mini tip with that, guys. Ask the girl out on a date. Don't ask her to be your girlfriend, okay? Like, I mean, th this is not middle school. This is not high school, okay? When, when you ask a girl out, uh, she wants to know that you are asking her to go somewhere. Do not ask her to go to your house. That is just a bad idea, especially if you're a Christian out there because you're probably going to be more tempted to do something that you're not supposed to do. So make sure that you ask her out on an actual date. Now, another sub tip with that is when you ask her out on a date, don't make it something super expensive for a few reasons. One, because this might this date might not work out and you might have wasted a whole bunch of money. But then secondly, you don't want to set this like false idea and this false expectation that's always going to be like that. Third mini tip, when you ask her out on a date, ask her out somewhere where you can actually talk to her. Like, don't ask her out somewhere like the movies, honestly, because even though the movies is like a thing that we are used to hearing about, honestly, you would have to do dinner and a movie. And then that ends up being expensive because as the guy, you should be paying for the first date. You shouldn't be asking the girl to pay. Now, if she puts it in her heart that she wants to pay half of it, whatever, then th that's all on her. But you should be able to have enough money to be able to pay for both of you. You shouldn't have to feel like she has to kind of like hold back what she has to buy because you're too broke. Oh, why you hit so hard? The next thing is when you guys start getting a little bit like closer and you guys are actually dating for a little bit, like this is not something that you do on the first date, this is something that you do like a little bit further down the road when you're sure that this is something that you guys wanna commit to, you guys actually wanna be in an exclusive dating relationship, whatever, however you wanna put that. If you decide that, then there's the second thing that you should do is you should actually start setting some boundaries. Now, boundaries can be a little bit scary to set because it's a little bit awkward. It's, it's not ever gonna not be awkward because you're gonna have to literally tell them where you uh, are, where you're thinking, what, what, what things trigger you and all that type of stuff. And it's not just physical boundaries. It's not just don't do this and don't do that. It's also emotional boundaries. Like, hey, um, just to tell you, I'm not going to do this. Um, hey, just to tell you, if I hear that you are keeping a lot of secrets, if I see that you're doing like this type of behavior, this triggers me. Like that, those are conversations that you need to have because if you don't have those conversations, then there's no way that they're gonna know down the road what exactly you're looking for. What are the things that really set you off? Third one is keep an open line of communication. You have to let them know what you like and what you dislike. So kind of like I said earlier when I was talking about boundaries and emotional boundaries, just in general, even when you're not doing the boundaries talk, you need to always be uh, consistently letting them know what things you like and what you don't like. Because here's the truth, especially girls out there, if you're listening, 
Guys are a little bit dumb. We do not know what you like. We do not know what you want. We do not know what you enjoy. All we can do is guess. And so instead of making us guess, just let us know what you like and what you dislike. Now, there are going to be times that guys need to be able to step up and recognize what you're saying and listen to what you're saying or remember what you're saying and all those types of things. I get all of that. But if you don't like a certain behavior that he does and you feel like it's something that can actually be changed, then you need to talk about it. If um, it's just something that's like really small or whatever, then you might be able to just brush it off and go on. But if it's a pattern that you know that you consistently see and you'd like, hey, I don't like that, then you need to talk to them about that. Fourth is this, do not be the type of person that's in these super long relationships. I'm just gonna say this, if you're a Christian and you're out there, the longer that you are in a relationship, the longer that you are gonna keep yourself in temptation because you're gonna keep yourself in temptation up to the point that you might end up doing stuff and trying stuff because you're just like, oh, well, um, uh, well, we've just been dating so long or whatever. And I'm just telling you, and this is like, I've, I've said this multiple times before in different videos, but I'm telling you that if you are saying that you want to go ahead and have sex and things like that, it's just not a good idea. Because what happens is, and I would tell this for ladies mostly, Ladies, if you are sitting there, you're uh, sleeping with this guy, I promise you, it's going to be a whole lot longer before he decides that he wants to marry you. Because the truth and the honest truth is, he's already getting everything that he wants from you without the marriage contract. So why in the world would he put a legally binding marriage contract in the place? However, marriage is supposed to be a great thing. Marriage is supposed to be saying, hey, I commit myself to you. Hey, I'm making a promise before you and before God. But often if we open up these gates too early, a lot of the times it's going to feel like, well, then what's the purpose of dating? I'm already getting everything that I would get in a marriage. I just don't have like maybe like certain legal rights, but it's not going to be as important to them. So I will tell you, man, hold off um, on having sex until you're married. But also, just in general, don't keep the waiting process so long. That's kind of why I said earlier in the last video, I talked about how you shouldn't even be dating until you feel like you're a little bit closer to wanting to get married. For the most part, if you're dating somebody, man, you shouldn't be dating. If you're dating them for more than a year and you're telling me that you're unsure if you're going to marry them, then that's probably a bad sign. There's probably something holding you back that you're not talking about. And so I say that for everybody. I've, I've said that to people multiple times and people disagree with me. I don't care. If you are a year in and the guy isn't even talking about marriage, then he's probably not going to marry you. Now, that is where it needs to be very, we need to be very intentional as guys. If you're a guy out there and you're listening to this, we need to be very intentional and let the women know our intentions. Because if we don't let them know our intentions, then they're gonna think that that's what we're doing, that we're just playing games. And we shouldn't be playing games with people's hearts. We shouldn't be playing games with our own hearts. Because like I said, the longer and longer that you uh, prolong the dating process, the easier it is for you to be tempted to fall into sin. So those are just kind of a few tips about dating and all that. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to hear how to know if you're ready for engagement, how to know if you're ready to marry the person, because I hear some people ask that too. I, I, you know what? I'm going to probably do a video on it anyway, but let me know how much you're interested in it so that I can be able to know like, you know, who I should be looking out for and all that type of stuff. But if you like this video, like and subscribe to this channel. I know I see a lot of y'all that be liking this stuff on Facebook and that's really good, that's really awesome. Don't get me wrong, that's a really cool thing. I'm really glad that you're doing that. But also, like and subscribe on YouTube so that YouTube knows that this is a video that people care about and then it gets in other people's algorithms and all that jazz. But always, love you guys and I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.